Hello, Psych2Goers. We just want to take the time to thank you for all your kind support. We are a team of dedicated, passionate, and hardworking individuals who come together every day with one goal in mind. We want to make psychology come alive for you. We are self-funded and recently launched our Patreon. If you enjoy the work we do and find it meaningful, please stick around until the end of the video for information on how to get more involved with us and all the cool rewards you can get from us. Asking someone out can be downright scary. Your heart may be racing right now just thinking about your crush. You keep telling yourself that today will be the day you do it, whether it's when you both have physics class together, through a text message during your lunch break, or a phone call right before you head to bed. One common misconception about our dating culture is that the awkwardness and sweaty palms only happen in our teenage years. But many adults can find it just as nerve-wracking and struggle with it. We understand how intimidating it is to put yourself out there, and want to help you practice being open and vulnerable. Here are five ways to ask someone out. 1. Find a common ground. Before asking someone out, it's important to find out whether you two have something in common. Instead of making generic small talk, you can delve into topics that help you get to know each other better. For instance, you can talk about recent movies or books that made an impact on your life if you know that they have also seen or read them. You can also ask them about what their passions, interests, hobbies, and dreams are. Once you find something that the two of you share, you can converse with them on a deeper level rather than having dead-end conversations that prevent the both of you from growing closer. 2. Pick a safe activity. Pick an activity that allows the both of you to bond and have a good time. Going out for coffee or drinks, a walk in the park, or a museum are safe options that aren't too overwhelming. Make sure that the location you pick isn't too crowded or noisy that prevents you from hearing each other speak. This is especially important for introverts. Is your crush an introvert? Check out our video, 5 Dating Tips for Introverts, for more helpful information. It's commonly advised not to go to the movie theater as a first date, because it doesn't give you a chance to interact as much. But if the two of you decide to have ice cream and talk about the film later, it can act as an icebreaker and give you something to talk about. 3. It's cliché and overused, but be yourself. You hear this line all the time, but there's a reason why it's true. When you're in a relationship with someone, it's not about constantly telling each other how great you are that leaves you no room to be yourself on your bad days. The same applies to asking someone out. Avoid sounding like a salesperson. Instead, be authentic and honest. Let the other person know that you think they're interesting and that you're willing to learn more about them. Remember not to be pushy or forceful. After all, you can't make someone return the same feelings. Respecting each other's space and boundaries is important. 4. Figure out where you want to ask them. In this day and age, we can text, email, or call our crushes when we want to ask them out. Asking someone out in person is also an option, but it may be used less often nowadays because of how intimidating it can be. Depending on how long you have known the person and whether or not the two of you have exchanged phone numbers, added each other on social media, or have mutual friends, figure out which method works best for you. Keep in mind that each platform has its own pros and cons. For instance, asking someone out in person doesn't give you a chance to retype a message, but it does allow you to see their reaction and their answer will be immediate rather than waiting to hear back from a text. 5. Be brave. Take the leap. Don't wait too long to make your move. Seize the day. It's scary putting your heart on the line, but you never know what may happen if you don't try. Constantly letting your fears and thoughts well up inside of you will only allow your walls to grow higher. It's better to take a chance than look back with regrets and what-ifs. There will be times you'll be rejected, but remember that this only brings you closer to the person you're meant to be with. We wish you the best of luck. Do you have trouble working up the courage to ask someone out? Please share your thoughts with us below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content from Psych2Go and check out our Patreon. We started it because we want to grow into a bigger platform that reaches more people who are in need of help. With your contribution, you can receive our PSI pendant, t-shirt, issues of our magazine, and many more membership benefits. Your funding will help us produce quality script writing, voiceovers, and animation that makes our content both entertaining and educational. We want to make sure our community members get the best, and only the best. Thanks for watching.